Welcome to DCE Digital Learning. This is Bachelor of Science Mathematics Real Analysis class. And in this class, we will be having an introduction to improper integrals. First, some definitions. Definition of infinite or unbounded intervals. An interval in which at least one of the endpoints is infinity is called an infinite or unbounded interval. Open interval A to infinity. Semi-closed interval A to infinity closed at A. Open interval minus infinity to B. Semi-closed interval minus infinity to B closed at B. And open interval minus infinity to infinity are infinite intervals where A and B are real numbers. Next, the definition of point of infinite discontinuity. A point C belongs to I equals closed interval AB is called a point of infinite discontinuity of f of x on I if f of C is not finite. That is, f of x has vertical asymptotes at x equal to c or f of x is not defined at x equal to c. Point of infinite discontinuity is also called a singular point. Let us look at some examples of point of infinite discontinuity. First one, f of x equals 1 by root x on the closed interval 0 to 1. This function is defined everywhere except x equal to 0. At x equal to 0, the denominator becomes 0 and hence the function f of x is not defined. So, 0 is a point of infinite discontinuity and 0 is the lower limit of this interval. Second one, f of x equals 1 by 2 minus x on the closed interval 0 to 2 is also not defined when x equal to 2. Therefore, the upper limit 2 is a point of infinite discontinuity of this function. Third one, f of x equals 1 by 1 minus x into 2 minus x on the closed interval 1 to 2. Clearly, this function is defined everywhere except x equal to 1 and x equal to 2. Therefore, 1 and 2 are points of infinite discontinuity for this function. Fourth one, f of x equals 1 by x minus 1 raised to 2 by 3 on the closed interval 0 to 3. Clearly, this function is not defined when x equal to 1. Therefore, 1 is a point of infinite discontinuity for this function. Here, 1 is one of the interior points of the interval. Now, the definition of proper integral. The definite integral, integral f of x dx from a to b is called a proper integral if the domain of integration closed interval a to b is finite and integrand f of x is finite or bounded on that closed interval a to b. Clearly, if big f of x is an indefinite integral of integral of f of x dx a to b, then Integral of f of x dx from a to b equals big F of b minus big F of a is finite. Let us look at some examples of proper integrals. First one, integral of dx by x square from 1 to 2 is a proper integral as the domain of integration closed interval 1 to 2 is finite and f of x equals 1 by x square is finite over closed interval 1 to 2. This proper integral can be evaluated as integral of dx by x square from 1 to 2 equals minus 1 by x from 1 to 2 equals minus of 1 by 2 minus 1 by 1 which is equal to 1 by 2 a finite value. Second one integral of 2x plus 1 dx from minus 2 to 1 is a proper integral as the domain of integration closed interval minus 2 to 1 is finite 
and f of x equals 2x plus 1 is finite over closed interval minus 2 to 1. This proper integral can be evaluated as integral of 2x plus 1 dx from minus 2 to 1 equals x square plus x from minus 2 to 1 which is equal to 1 plus 1 minus 4 plus 2 equals 0, a finite value. Now, the definition of improper integrals. The definite integral, integral of f of x dx from a to b, is called an improper integral if it is not a proper integral. That is, if the interval of integration, closed interval a to b, is not finite, but f of x is bounded on closed interval a b or the interval of integration closed interval a to b is finite but f of x is unbounded on closed interval a b or neither the interval of integration closed interval a to b is finite nor f of x is bounded on closed interval a b examples of improper integrals Integral of 1 by x square dx from 1 to infinity. This is an improper integral as the upper limit is infinity and hence the domain of integration semi closed interval 1 to infinity is not finite. Second one integral of 1 by 1 plus x square dx from minus infinity to 0. This is an improper integral as lower limit is minus infinity and hence the domain of integration is minus infinity to zero is not finite. Third one, integral of 1 plus x by 1 plus x square dx from minus infinity to infinity. This is an improper integral as both limits are not finite and hence the domain of integration is open interval minus infinity to infinity is not finite. Fourth one, integral of 1 by square root of x dx from 0 to 1. This is an improper integral as the integrand 1 by root x is unbounded at the lower limit x equal to 0. That is, 0 is a point of infinite discontinuity or singular point of the integrand in the closed interval 0 to 1. Fifth one, integral of 1 by x minus 1 whole square dx from 1 to infinity. This is an improper integral as the integrand 1 by x minus 1 whole square is unbounded at the lower limit x equals 1 that is 1 is a point of infinite discontinuity or singular point of the integrand in the domain of integration 1 to infinity. Also, here the upper limit is infinity and hence the domain of integration semi-closed interval 1 to infinity is not finite. Sixth one, integral of 1 by 1 minus x into 2 minus x dx from 1 to 2. This is an improper integral as the integrand 1 by 1 minus x into 2 minus x is unbounded at the lower limit x equal to 1 and the upper limit x equal to 2. That is 1 and 2 are the points of infinite discontinuity or singular points of the integrand in closed interval 1 to 2. That's all in this video. Thank you.